uh, new component coming out there, button with the record ID. So this is a button where when you click on it, you'll get the record ID of whatever you're clicking on. Uh, it's open source on GitHub. Let's just go and see how it works. So it's a button. To get the ID, we have to give it a list. Uh, and the list was how we get the record ID. And what we do is we actually want to just filter this down to a single record. Um, if you don't filter it, it will give you the record ID of the first of the records. So if you send 10 records, it'll give you the record ID of the first one. But if you're going to be using it, you want to filter it to a single value. So I'm put the button for users so I can get the current user which comes from here. So this is a list. When I click on the list, I'm going to send it to this screen so that this has the current user. So the email is equal to the current user. Let's just see how this works. So if I click on this user here, I click on the button. That was record ID 22. And if I go click on one, I see that's record ID 21. The reason why you want the record ID and why this is a very useful button, even though it's super simple, is actually going to be for custom actions. So if you've ever tried to do any kind of integration to any third party services and use custom actions, uh, you usually end up sending information to the back end server, and then you have to run this crazy filter, get the API, get all the records. Now you'll actually be able to send your, your custom action, the record ID, uh, of the thing that you want on, whether it's for payments, whether it's for uh, shopping carts, whether it's for OTP or SMS verification. Um, yeah, so if you want, install this button, use this button, and you'll be able to get the record ID. And the most useful part about it is the custom action. That's it.